Living at the beach definitely has its advantages because I have an endless supply of inventory for my shell ornaments. So come along with me on my video and watch how I take these shells that I find on my beach and turn them into really cool Christmas ornaments. I have two dozen that I've collected and cleaned and this is what I'm going to be working on today using Aline's tacky glue snipping off the end and this is what I'm going to be using to attach my uh, chunky sand mix to these shells and I usually do not batch make a bunch of shells at this or a bunch of ornaments at the same time but I've got a lot of shows coming up and I really need to be prepared with inventory so this is why I am just making a bunch at one time and it'll just, you know, save me a whole lot of time in the long run. So the mix I'm using is called, well, I call it mermaid trash and I've made it using sand, little bits of crushed glass, little bitty shells, glitter, um, sand. It's just, just a mixture of a lot of little different things and it just mimics a, a rocky shoreline and I'm using the Aline's Tacky Glue that I got at the dollar store. It's a really good alternative to using resin. It's very durable. It holds everything nice and tight. And e even though I'm using this on all of the, the shells to make the beach ornaments, I am going to make each shell very unique. So they're not all going to be cookie cutter. Even though it looks like they are, they're not. So I am going to speed it up just a little bit more because literally each shell is exactly exactly the same. I started these in the morning and by late afternoon the glue was nice and dry and I just shook off any excess mermaid trash. The next step before adding any resin is to level out the shells so that the resin doesn't run over everywhere and my hack is to use play-doh from the dollar store. It is the greatest stuff. It's cheap uh, you can get a lot of it for a dollar and a quarter, and it's perfect for putting up underneath the shells just to level them out a little bit and create a just a better work surface. I am separating those last few out because I have a little plan for them. Now it's time for mixing up some resin, and you know I'm using KS Resin Liquidy Split. Make sure you use my discount code in the description to get 10% off. The Liquidy Split is my favorite because it has such a, a fast cure time. Now for this batch of ornaments, I am using the KS Resin Liquid Resin Dye in Turquoise, my favorite color, one drop. Thoroughly mix the ink into the resin and then I'm just pouring a little bit into each one of these shells. I'm gonna take my gloved finger and just equally distribute the resin all over the shell. Now the resin is going to self-level. This resin is self-leveling. So even though I am spreading it on the shell, it is going to continue to run and find its lowest point, which is usually that little, kind of that little bowl in the, the bottom of the shell, and which is why I've elevated them, um, on some of them using the Play-Doh. Um, so this kind of is going to make it look like there's a little bitty ocean at the bottom of these shells and it's just so pretty. It's really a cool effect and it's even a, a cooler effect if you use several layers, which, um, you know, I do sometimes do. But if you add several layers of resin, like maybe different colors of blue or if you add in some white to mimic a wave. I mean, I do do different designs all the time, but um, I'm just using the leftover resin in some of them just to make sure I don't have any waste because I do not like to waste any of this resin. It's just too expensive, right? Use a heat gun on a low heat setting just to pop any bubbles and you can use a torch too. After the resin has thickened for about 40 minutes, I'm going back in with my little bitty charms and I got these on Amazon. I have a link in the description for these. 
but I let the resin thicken a little bit so the charms don't just sink down into the resin and get covered up. So I want them sort of sitting on top. I have some really cute dolphins and crabs and turtles and um, little fish. There's an octopus. They're just really cute. And don't, don't worry about those little bear shells off to the left. I have a special plan and that's coming up. While the resin is curing, now it's time for these guys. What am I doing? You'll have to stay tuned and watch. These were honestly probably more fun to paint than any of the other ones I've ever done. Just, I loved creating the, the oceans and the, um, the sunsets on these. These are so much fun to paint. You really should give this, give, give this a try. These are just, um, I think, Lix, Liquitex and Amsterdam paints that I just bought at Joanne. They're heavy body paints, but the colors are great. And I've even used, I think, some that orange is Dollar Tree. It's a great color orange. It's very vibrant and just loved painting these. I attached some charms to a few of these with Let's Resin, UV Resin, but just a few and you'll see. Do you want to guess how much fun I had painting these palm trees on these shelves? Um, I will put a link in the description to the marker that I used. I bought them on Amazon and they're, uh, they're from Overseas. That's the name of the marker. This is just a paint marker in black, and it says it will write on anything. And sure adding enough, on it does. a few more charms to some of these using the Let's Resin UV Resin. Um, just adding a couple of little sea turtles to some of these to make them cute. Not that they're not cute already, but just to make them cute cuter and more beachy. I mixed up some more KS Resin Liquidy Split to give the painted shells a little bit of shine and that really makes a huge difference with these. It just really brings out the shine and I mixed up enough that I could go ahead and put a nice Good, even layer of clear on, on top of the the ones that I had already resined and this really adds a, a awesome depth that really does make make them look like their little mini oceans and um, you know spreading it out with my finger just to make sure everything's covered up nice then just popping bubbles with the heat gun again low heat high air low heat these have been sitting overnight and now I'm just tying on some raffia ribbon to the ones that already have holes and using my hot glue gun to glue on the ribbon for the ones that don't have holes. And I am using gluing on little glass beads from the dollar store on, on those just to hide the back of the ribbon and finish it off a little while. And here they are all finished. Two days worth of work trimmed down into, into 10 minutes. Uh, um, this this was fun. I don't generally make this many ornaments all at once, but I'm expecting to sell probably a couple of hundred ornaments at my upcoming art shows. So uh, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and help me grow and uh, hope you give this a try. Bye.